All right, guys, just finished with some math. I'm at college. I decided, you know what? I've already bought from Dr. Squatch a couple times. This will be my second time. Um, so I thought, why don't I review it? Well, I'm here to say I've never been a soap guy. I decided to buy stuff the first time because I grew up with Spongebob. I love Spongebob. So I got the limited edition Spongebob one. It was pretty good. And then I've, I've now purchased all of their original lineup and another uh, limited edition. Now at Walmart, I did smell some of their other limited editions, the Freedom Fresh and the Minecraft one. Those scents did not please me. They smelled very gross. The Minecraft one smelled musty. It was like a weird smell. And I smelled more than one, so it wasn't like, oh, bad shipment or something like. And the Freedom Fresh was also the same. It was pretty bad. It was like, it stinks. Like, I would not want that smell on me. But hey, to each their own, maybe some people prefer it. I'm going to open my package, see what I got. I know what I got. There should be a good chunk. Wow. <coughs> There's a lot of smells. Ooh, okay. <coughs> Dude. Uh oh, some of these are a little dented. Now, they are very generous. Last time I had a few dents. They repaired them. Not repaired them, they replaced them. <laughs> My mind's, I'm tired. I'm working on six hours sleep and I had to go through a lot of boring classes. Um, this is the Coconut Castaway. It does smell like coconut. Simple as that. I mean, I wouldn't call that my favorite smell, but it's not bad. It's okay. I usually have to open it up to get a better smell. And I'm also just checking the soaps in case of any damage. But yeah, they were really generous. Their support is always so nice. Like, they, if you have an issue, they get it done fast. I've had a couple issues. Like, for example, my first order, I didn't realize I could get 10% off military discount. I asked them if they could apply it even after I placed my order. And they're like, yeah, sure. So I got a refund of like $6 because I spent 60 10% base amount. Rainforest Rapids. It smells like what Irish Spring should smell like. You know those soaps? Those... I'm not gonna diss other soaps. That's not right. These soaps are okay. They are a bit expensive, but with the, the discounts and stuff I've been getting, I don't really care. I've spent... $80 for... Maybe 20 plus soaps. I have a lot at home. I have all the basic lineup. I could go and count them all, but I don't have them with me because they're at home. I only brought some of them. And they last for two years, and I've had bars that last me like a month, two months. They can last a while, based on how repetitive you use it. And if you use a washcloth instead, like I used one with a washcloth, and that lasted me like half a year. So I was like, okay. Okay, that was like my first bar ever. I was like, okay, maybe I should actually use them if I'm going to buy them. <laughs> yeah, this one's okay. I definitely want to call this one my favorite either. It is kind of foresty. Um, and that's what it is. Eucalyptus leaf. Licorice leaf. Licorice comes from a leaf. Lemon fruit extract. Okay. I'm not getting a fruity scent from that at all. That's two of them. All right. Alpine sage. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've never smelled sage before. If I have, I don't remember it. This actually doesn't smell that bad at all. Okay. Um, Cypress essential oil, lavender essential oil. 
It smells kind of like a buttery vanilla. You guys like watching me smell soaps for like 10 minutes? I hope so. Welcome to James Klein Funny Guy. <laughs> Alright. This one's okay. I'm not really a big fan of any of these. These are probably ones I won't get again. I mean, maybe they, they do smell different when you actually are using them. I've noticed that. They kind of have a little better scent. I've got... These are my limited edition ones. Cowabunga Cleanse. I'll save those for last. All I will say is the soap itself looks gross. It, it looks like moldy cheese. I mean, cheese can have mold. Blue cheese. I hate blue cheese. Cool Fresh Alloy. Not alloy. That would be L-L-O-L-O-Y. <laughs> like aloe vera. Cool Fresh Aloe. <laughs> Alloy. Metal alloy. It's just a bar sub that smells like like blood and iron. Oh, this one's got a cool little design on it. Okay. This one is... This is not a strong smell at all. I'm not, I'm not getting any hints. Of aloe vera. I mean, it's in there, I guess. But I don't smell it. This smells like a basic bar of soap. So far, this is seeming like my least favorite one. Mm. Aloe vera is nice, but if I can't smell it, I mean... Maverick Musk, because this is one of their newer ones. The newest one they came out with, I guess. Yeah, some of these are pretty dented up. Like, not that bad, but still kind of... Horsetail and sand? What the, f what the hell is horsetail? I have to look that up. Dude, I feel so... This is unbeknownst to me. I don't know what. Brown iron oxide. Horsetail extract. Like, what? It's gotta be some kind of plant. Well, obviously, it's not going to be actual horse tail. I don't know. It could be a combination of other stuff. I don't really like this one. I'm not going to lie. Powerful and sensual, bro. <laughs> no, this is not a sensual soap. I don't care for this one. I'm liking uh, the coconut ones and some other stuff. All right, we got one more in here. Fresh Falls. Alaskan Glacier... Mineral clay, indigo powder. I'm kind of just listing off the main things that you would should smell. Okay, it's kind of dented on this side. Let's look at this soap on this side. Is this is this okay? Ooh, wow. Okay, this one's. It's just make a video of me eating it. I've I've tasted it before. It's just like a little lick, the wood barrel bourbon. That, that and the Bay Rum are actually two of my favorite ones, which is funny, because like I don't drink, not even legal to, I don't want to. But alcohol and soap, I guess, is, is pretty good. <laughs> I like the Bay Rum because that one smells like cinnamon. I think that one's probably one of my favorite ones. I don't know if I'm biased by Wood Barrel Bourbon because it was the first one I ever used. I keep smelling this one, I like it. I can't really describe the smell on this one, it smells like probably what it is, mineral clay. Glacier mineral clay, I don't know. That one, it's pretty good. I like that one, I'm gonna lie. It's pretty good. Um, I'm actually gonna keep these in here and then restore them in a drawer. There's just no way I'm using all of these in like a couple months. I may take some of these home too, just so I know they're in a safe place. Yeah, I paid $30 for this order because of all the discounts I got from the first one buying it. The first one, I got a lot of stuff. All right. This is basil leaves and tomato extract. Uh, I really, really like Ninja Turtles, so of course I had to 
had to get this. I actually just got back into them. I played Shredder's Revenge 100% like multiple times. <laughs> so, yeah. And I watched some of the original 90s movies. Um, so, yeah. All right. Let me show you guys the, the moldy cheese soap. Bad at all. Not that I would stink. It's better than their spearmint basil, I'll tell you that much. Their spearmint basil, that that is probably one of their worst soaps. It smells just like toothpaste. I don't want to rub toothpaste on my body. I mean it is spearmint, but um, it smells pretty good. It does have kind of a pizza-esque smell, so I guess. Using the tomato and that was a good choice. So that's that's pretty nice. Almost all their soaps have, always have sapified oils of sustainable palm, coconut, and olive, naturally derived fragrances in a lot of them. And then almost all of them also have kaolin, clay, and sea salt. So yeah. I'm definitely gonna keep one of these boxes, whichever one's in better shape. Yes, yeah, pretty good. All right, guys. When I get home, maybe I'll go back and smell my other soaps, review them, let you guys, you know, my SpongeBob one. I'm using that currently. Pineapple smell is very minimal. It's okay. <laughs>